Hello and welcome back to my second video. I'm Ellie and I'm going to help you pass economics 1 through UNISA. So in the first video we did our first graph which is supply and demand. It's very important to remember that the curve that runs this way is demand and the curve that runs this way is supply. Okay. Then the point where they meet is the equilibrium. This is the happy place. This is where everybody is content and what we are offering versus what people are buying is exactly the same. In the first video we used the example of an Xbox, so I'm going to continue with Xbox. So this is the sale of Xboxes on campus. Now let's say this year there was a very big intake of students into the university, so there are just more people in general. Okay? Let's say it's because of the grant funding and all of that stuff. So our demand curve, the whole curve, there's just more people, is moving up. And there is our new demand curve. Now, let's say that with the Rand dollar, people can buy new slimline Xboxes and they're very excited about it. So there are more people selling their old Xbox for whatever reason. It's not just one person extra, it is a change in the market conditions, which is the exchange rate, which has caused just an increase in supply. So now our supply is also moving this way, there's supply 2. That was supply 1, that's supply 2, demand 1, demand 2. Now we have to find the new equilibrium, so the new happy place. Now, demand 1 moved up from here to there, supply 1 moved to supply 2. The two new lines intersect here. What this means for us, remember, the price is on this side and quantity is on this side. This means that if the hypothetical price for a second-hand Xbox was 1,600 Rand, remember that's the P, and our quantity originally was, let's say, hypothetically 75, there would have been 100, and here we're about on 125. So what this means is because there are more students on campus, which increased overall demand, and because of an exchange rate, there are more second-hand Xboxes on the market, the supply increased. This means that at the same price, our new equilibrium is over here. So a typical question will be, what is the new quantity? And the new quantity is 125. How this will look in a multiple choice is they will say, if demand increases, and supply increases. Choose which one would be correct. Let's just see if this is still fitting into the screen. Yes, you guys can almost see. Let me move it. Okay. So then they are going to say, will the price go up? Now we can see there it's not going up. It's staying the same. Or they can say, will the price go down? And the price is definitely not going down. Then they will say, how about the quantity? Is the quantity going down? And then here they'll have one that'll say, probably the price will remain the same. But what will definitely happen is the quantity will go up. And then we choose that one that says quantity up. 